The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New York Giants and the San Francisco 49ers. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one, and we are underway from Santa Clara. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. two-yard line here, second and three. Well, you got to think, Charles, that one's on the quarterback because everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Kayvon Thibodeau gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. The things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out and set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. Meanwhile, Lance's throw pulled in by Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle, 36 yards. And the Niners get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner, and into the end zone. A pick six for the 49 D as they score the touchdown. Now going for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 
nothing first quarter lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fields it right around the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. Throwing on first down is Lance. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range. And the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. To throw again on second down, Lance. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Niners are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. On second and nine, Jones escaping the pressure right. He finds his man complete. That's Hudson. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Back to throw. Jones. He finds his man complete. That's Hudson. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They go play action here on first down. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Back to throw again. As this complete to Daniel Bellinger. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Now a play fake here on first down. Out to his left. And they get Jones for the third time in this ball game. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And the 49ers are gonna get possession of the football as time will run out on. with the football here to begin the second quarter. Let's go! 
The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Here we go. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Now Lance. That is caught by the tight end, Kettle. Touchdown, 49ers. A great play there. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the 49ers are able to add on to their first-half lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Owen Burks, and into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score touchdown gold with the extra point and that makes this 35 to nothing now so they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six and now the kick is away The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. And say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. 
I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Now Jones on first down. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough. But, man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback, the touchdown 49ers. George Kittle on his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Niners have taken. Touchdown lead. Gold to add the extra point. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. Now, with that, they could elect to take the ball at the one if they wanted. Yeah, exactly right. They have options here. If they decide now to go for two after the penalty, the ball doesn't go to the two-yard line as normal. They get the penalty, so that's half the distance. You put it at the one. But if they decided they wanted to kick, they would just move the ball from the 15 to the 10, and they would kick it there. 